Arkansas 34% on this down this season. Plenty of time, great protection for John Steven. Throws into traffic, and that's picked off. Antoine Kincaid with his first interception of the season. Six of 14, as you see, on the season for Western Kentucky. Story, got it. Nice catch made. That's the third straight time he goes to Pearson. Looking on, as you saw a second ago. Story is going to run for it. Makes a move and another fourth down conversion, the second on the drive. It's two weeks ago against the thundering herd of Marshall. There's a little trickeration, and it's Jacquez Sloan with blocks in front all the way to the end zone. 19 yards, touchdown. I'm an offensive backfield. Steven loads up, and that's a good one. It's caught by Traylon Burks, and Burks gets 10 yards, and it's a first down. There. Even with Ty Story going nine starts. This is straight up the gut, and it's Boyd with a burst of speed. Outruns the defense. 76 yards. On a second and ten. This is a good throw and catch by Lucky Jackson. Since the fourth week of the season and played well. He is on a third and four. And that's a first down throw as Jacor Pearson stays in bounds and he's into Razorback territory. It's a good stop on that previous play. Story on third and ten. Gets it again across the middle of the field. Inside the 25, Joshua Simon, the tight end, that's 22 yards. Ultimately resulted in the fourth down conversion. Here's another one. Story has time in a muddy pocket. Here's another conversion to Pearson. First and goal, Hilltoppers. Makes the toss ahead. And look at him run in traffic. Ty Story, touchdown. It looked as if Story was targeting Pearson yet again when Poole got the deflection. Gage Walker on third and 11. And he is tackled two yards shy of the first down marker just inside of the 40. Story, first down. Three for three on fourth down in the first half. Punts or kicks on fourth down. Maybe Helton's paying tribute to them today. Fourth and six, first down. Lucky Jackson moving the chains. He's gonna churn him again on the 16th play of the drive. No signal yet, trying to find the football and they say he's in. Another touchdown for Story. Offensive snaps and possession time. Making the toss. Story feeling it, and Pearson is wide open. Green grass in front of him, 69 yards. Huge as a target as well, but Ty Story as a runner as well has been lethal. Nine on third. Make it six of ten. Yes, that's a grab for a first down, and it's Lucky Jackson for 14 yards. So frustrated that he generated negative yard of play on third. Time of possession. Lopsided as Gage Walker runs near the first down, but just short. They ran a power look last time. They're doing it again. Easy first down, too doing exactly what you thought they'd do, and Curl makes the tackle after Story moves the chains. Not a great one there for Gage Walker, but it's more than enough to get the conversion. 
Western Kentucky has one timeout left. That's caught. Lucky Jackson somehow between two Arkansas defenders makes that catch first and goal. Story does have a timeout left. Gage Walker easy into the end zone. Five drives, five touchdowns for Western Kentucky. Joyous Hilltopper sideline and the dejected Razorback sideline as Jefferson will get a couple on the last play of the first half. Arkansas did have a 76-yard run that Rakeem Boyd had, and since then, it's been nothing. Talk about is Tua 100%. Does it really matter if maybe he's 80 or 90 with those receivers he has, guys? Look at Gage Walker running free inside the 30, pushed out inside the 25 by Micah Smith. That's on that run. Now Gage Walker getting in on the action. 39-yard run. Story fakes, keeps, and to the goal line. And they mark him just shy as Busta Brown makes the tackle 22 yards for Ty Story, first and goal. Corey Munson with basically what's an extra point from 19 yards, and that's a line drive through. And it's 38-7 Western Kentucky. It's another third and four here for K.J. Jefferson. Taking the snap, and it's a first down, and Jefferson Runs inside the 35 down to the 31-yard line. Tide's playing this one in Tuscaloosa. Well, they've won 31 straight home games. It's the longest streak in SEC history as Jefferson is sacked by Ricky Barber. Down to the protection scheme. On a negated touchdown to third and 29. Jefferson gets some of it back to Burks. Inside the 30 down near the 27, but it'll be still fourth and a mile. What about how they lose? Does that matter, do you think? Will that factor in? If two is not healthy, it could. To the end zone, Jefferson, and it's caught, but out of bounds is Traylon Burks. And he nearly corralled this ball. Field came oh so close to a touchdown. Instead, it's a turnover on down. Ready to tee it up here in just a little bit. Get you ready for that one in a second is Boyd. Already has a 76-yard run. This one might go to the house, too. There's a flag down, but Boyd is in the end zone. It would be 86 yards if it stands. There is no foul on the play. The result is a touchdown. Pick up the flag, and Boyd, who already had a career-long... Still out there laying it on the line for his team. Three yards shy of a thousand on the season. The extra point is blocked. And it's 38 to 13. Pitt State drops a game to Minnesota. What chances do they have versus the Buckeyes? And it's intercepted off the carom. This is picked off by Devin Key, and it's a touchdown. Okay. For the Crimson Tide. That changes tonight. Jefferson to Burks, and what a catch. Passing did have a touchdown pass to Burks that was negated due to a holding penalty. This is T.J. Hammonds, Hammonds, horse collar down, and the flags come flying from everywhere. T.J. trying again, and this time he's in. Jefferson, that's too high for Woods. A huge day for Ty Story in his return here to Arkansas. And running himself to Shamley. That's a first down run inside the 30-yard line. Multi-headed monster at quarterback, right? Alyssa, what do you think with all those faces that they've had to play at the most important position on the field? Well, we'll get to her in just a second. Yeah, not, a fumble. not only the quarterback position, but the defense as well. Tennessee. Caught across the middle by Burks. 
45-19, Western Kentucky beats Arkansas, and Tyson Helton gets some blue refreshment.